Good morning, welcome back to my channel, Farmhouse on the Ranch. Today we're going to talk about cast iron, which is a wonderful addition to your kitchen, but it can be a little tricky. So, the deal with cast iron, this is a big Cabela's cast iron pan, and cast iron is very porous, and that is why so many people don't understand it or don't know how to use it or are scared of it because it absorbs what you cook in it. But as long as you're seasoning them correctly, they're, they're really easy to take care of and they're not dangerous. So let me show you the one that doesn't look good. This one you can see um, it's good, got a really good shine to it. It's nice and slick but it's not greasy. Um, it doesn't have any rust anywhere. It's got some wear and tear from use and it's pitted because I am very hard on my cast iron, but they take it really well. I had an unfortunate run-in with a sink full of water overnight. And if you leave your cast iron sitting in water or with water sitting in your cast iron, this is what happens. They rust. It takes the finish off of them. It takes the, the seasoning off of them. It takes all the protective layers off of them and then they turn into this unusable state right here. Very dry pan and it will leave rust on your hands. That's where it gets, it's just not a great deal. So your first step is to take your cast iron and over to the sink and scrub it. A common myth is that soap will damage your cast iron. Um, it was probably once true and really harsh chemical soaps will damage your cast iron but uh, like dish soap isn't going to hurt your cast iron at all. The reason that became a thing was because they had uh, soaps that had vinegar in them and lye and um, all those really harsh stripping elements that were stripping the finish and getting into the pores of your cast iron. Uh, a little dish soap isn't going to hurt anything. So go and scrub the rust off, scrub the food off, scrub whatever you have a problem with your cast iron is, scrub it really good. So we're going to do that next. I'm going to talk a little bit about seasoning, what seasoning is. And it took me a while to catch on, but seasoning is the finish that's on your pan. It has nothing to do with what you're cooking with in it. It has nothing to do with <laughs> salt, pepper, or any of the actual seasonings. It has, it is, seasoning your pan is the finish you're putting on your pan to protect the pores in your pan. Because your pan, when it doesn't have a finish on it, it absorbs everything around it, including water. That's why it rusts. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a finish on your pan and that will keep all of the, all the bad elements of your food, your raw meat, your tomato sauces, your water, all those things that damage your pan or could be used or, or could be transferred to your next meal and make you sick won't absorb into your pan if you have it seasoned correctly. Okay, so I just put the cast iron in an oven. It's, it's heating up. It's going to heat up to 350 degrees, but it's at like 100 right now. I just popped it in there, um, just blank, nothing in it, just wiped down. There's no water on it. And what that's doing is it's evaporating the water out of the pores. And um, this has, is a step that's necessary so that you, when you season it, the seasoning goes, the oil or the spray or whatever you're using goes into the pan instead of sitting on top because the pan's already full of water. So you have to get your pan really dry. And the only way to do that is to cook it out of it. So we're going to let that heat up in the oven um, until the pan gets pretty hot and you're pretty sure that you'll be able to see that it doesn't have any luster or any shine or anything like that. It's just really hot and dry. And then we'll get it out and we'll let it completely cool and then we'll go on to the next step. You probably need to, if you're using your pan all of the time, you probably need to season it with the oven and do the whole cooking process maybe once a month, something like that, just depending on how much you're using it and how it's looking. It should always have a beautiful luster to it. If it's done, if your pan is correctly seasoned, it should shine and it should have a little bit of an oil feel, but not like, not a lot. Okay, we're back. So the pan is out of the oven. It's been sitting on here on the top of the stove for, I don't know, like, probably half an hour. All right, so you can already see the difference. You can't, I mean, you can see where the rust was, but you see it's not, it's smooth now. It's nice and scrubbed up. So for seasoning, um, simple, easy, without having to worry about anything, you have a couple of options. 
There are actually probably a lot of options in the world, but the two that I have and use in my household that I know work, um, all right. These are the two things that I have used. I've been using extra virgin olive oil to season my cast irons for as long as I've been cooking in my own kitchen. Um, so this works really well. You just take a little bit, you don't need very much, and you put it on a paper towel and you just coat your pan. And when I say coat, I mean you want to get it in all the surfaces, um, all of the areas, all, every inch of your pan. But you don't want it to be dripping. So once you've got everything coated well enough that you're, you're satisfied that the pores are absorbing the oil, um, then you take a dry paper towel or a dry hand towel and wipe away all the excess. You don't want there to be any excess grease. Second choice. This is cast iron conditioner from Camp Chef Home. And I got this at Cabela's a couple months ago. And it's all natural ingredients, canola free, protects from rusts, and it just sprays on. And this stuff is really easy to use. I'm really enjoying it. It has sunflower oil, macadamia nut oil, flaxseed oil, and vitamin E, and that's all that's in it. So the last step to your seasoning process is to take your newly greased pan and put it in the oven for, let's say, you want it to get very good and hot. So put it on like 350. So I just wipe the excess oil off of the pans with, you know, some, a dry paper towel or, or a dishcloth. So there isn't any actual dripping oils anywhere. But I'm going to cook both these pans um, and let them cook down really well. And these will smoke. When you put these freshly seasoned in your stove, they are going to smoke. So don't open the stove door. Don't check on them. They're fine. <laughs> they're, they're hearty. And cancel your stove. Just turn it off and let the stove and the pans cool off together. All there is to it. So come back a couple hours and you'll have beautifully seasoned, cool pans that are ready to go. I hope that you're enjoying my channel. Thanks for watching. And if you use your cast iron and make some awesome recipe, please leave me your recipe. Uh, in the comments or message me with it because I'm always looking for new cast iron recipes. So, bye!